Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Motorsport for some more multiplayer racing. For this one, we were using A-class cars fitted with flat engines. Now, they could be flat 4s, flat 6s, or the flat 12 that you get in the Ferrari test. Now, engine swaps were allowed, and I opted to go a little bit mad. I could have played it safe and drove one of a variety of fairly sensible Porsches or Subarus, but I didn't. I built a Porsche 914 with the flat 6 out of a 911, and, well, that has rather a profound effect on it, where <laughs> you've got well over 450 horsepower, it weighs about 2,000 pounds, it's an absolute rocket ship. But, of course, the downsides doesn't have particularly big tyres, and while I did have race tyres on it, uh, they, they weren't particularly big. This was going to be a handful. It was going to be all about the acceleration, and then sort of hold on for dear life when it got to a corner. For our first race, we head to the Homestead Circuit. I've got a nice spot on the grid here. This is good news for me. I know how quick this car is going to be off the line and launching. My goal is, is if we can run away at the front, we might be able to defend a bit. Uh, basically, this thing is, is all straight line speed. It is a full-on acceleration rocket ship. Uh, and that is, you know... The, the goal of it, if I can get clear, I can be very, very difficult. I can be very awkward to try and get past again. Uh, that is my goal. But to do that, we've got to try and clear. Uh, I say, unfortunately, we have Hordes and Scotty in front of us. Now, over a lap, this is probably not the best car here, this Porsche. Uh, I doubt in the course of a, like a single lap it might not be the fastest car here, but my hope is that we can be so fast in a straight line that we can just annoy stuff. I don't know whether Hordes may have escaped too much already with that uh, 911 GT3. Uh, uh, Scotty is parking it on the... They knew exactly what I wanted to do, didn't matter. The 914 here with a 3 litre flat 6 in it is mighty quick down a straight, who would have thought? Now, I have got race tyres on it. The downside for it is, well, we, we're not too bad in the low speed stuff. We're not too bad at low speed corners. The bit where we really struggle at the medium and higher speed corners. I simply do not have the grip of the cars around me. Uh, we won't get the front end, just won't stick, basically. Um, now, the slower corners we can get away with because we can just use a blinding acceleration. Oh dear, as we come out of them. But uh, other than that, uh, yeah we will say kind of struggle in places so yeah we're gonna have to be a little bit careful uh, at times try and not make any mistakes if we're gonna catch hordes uh, well I mean, it's, it's gonna be an out accelerate maneuver is what is gonna be uh, I've just got to now not make any mistakes and that's easier said than done uh, plus point for my car while we do have small tires we are very light uh, which means getting it slowed down isn't too bad. Uh, we are going to, oh, although it does do that sometimes, it is small, it is light, it is quite on edge, for want of a better word. Uh, it is yeah, quite difficult to drive, to be honest with you. And I've gone a little bit deep into the hairpin, which is not what we need. Things like that, I can't afford to do. I can't afford to get away with stuff like that. Uh, we, will, we will not be able to catch hordes if we, I say, if we drive like that. If we're going to catch hordes, we're going to have to drive. We're going to have to drive perfectly, I think. Uh, oh, come on. Come on, little 914. Uh, can we... Have we got a little closer? I mean, it feels like it's kind of much of a muchness here. We will start gaining some time down the start finish track. It feels like we're pulling away from Scotty uh, in this, which is, which is nice. Uh, oh, we are so sketchy into turn one. Hortz has made a little error through there, which I, I will uh, be grateful for. That has allowed me to get closer here. We can keep the pressure, hopefully, on the GT3. Oh, and then it's my turn to make a little mistake on the exit. And that's the thing. It's, I've got to be absolutely on it in terms of power delivery every single time if we are going to catch that car. Uh, but, of course, the back end of this really doesn't want to stick to the road. All it wants to do is wiggle around. God, that corner there cannot quite be flat in the 914. Uh, okay, we are, it's Ollie now in third, who is 
catching us ever so slightly, although both me and Hordes have had a slightly scruffy lap. This is much better through the hairpin for us. Fantastic. That's what we like. That's what we need. Because this will now start looking more menacing in the background. Admittedly, it is a small orange Porsche, but it will look considerably more menacing in the background to Hordes here. Okay, we're a little bit chucked about through over the bumps there, and we put a rear wheel on the grass in the braking zone. Really not what you need, not what you want from your vehicle, but we've definitely closed in this time around. Third gear probably would have worked on the exit. Not a great final section, but we are still, I mean, we are gaining. It's slowly at this point. We've got a few laps to do something about this all in. Uh, oh, come on, get slowed down, 914. Oh, we've got a little too deep. Just a little too late under brakes, and this is allowing Ollie to catch up because I'm trying. We are probably overdriving the car at this point. It's, it's a really fine line. We've got to. We've got to absolutely drive the wheels off it if I want to catch the leader. But in doing so, you run quite the risk of having an incident with it. Oh. It's not too bad through there. The back end is going to slide. We're okay with that. I mean, I'd rather it didn't, but we're going to have to live with that through there. Ollie is starting to catch with the uh, <laughs> with the LP. What can I do about that? Not much. Uh, oh, Hortz has gone a little deep into the hairpin. I have followed. Uh, I'm still not 100% sure where the breaking point is supposed to be for some of these corners. The only plus point for me is, I mean, we outrun. So we will annoy the absolute crap out of Ollie at this point. We will be very, very difficult for Ollie to get past because basically we will out accelerate every single corner, every single exit of a turn, we will be able to run away. And as much as the Le Mans will be quick mid corner, it's going to struggle to find a way past. We've had a monster final sector there. We are now right on the tail of the, uh, the GT3. Don't slide the back end of the car around if we can help it. Uh, that's going to be the trick here, uh, if we can just stay close. So we've got low speed turning is great in this. It's the medium speed stuff that uh, it struggles with more. We have a lovely exit here. Now Hortz is going to have to start thinking about where do I, when do I need to start defending? Do you need to start defending here? Not quite yet. But down the next straight, Hordes might be in trouble with that because uh, we are going to, we've got the car set up nicely here. Uh, can we outrun it simply into the hairpin? Nope, we're not going to be able to fire it up the inside. I'm not going to try to do that. Instead, what I'm going to go for is the cutback. Hordes has done a very good job. Hordes has done absolutely what they should do and covered it. I don't think it'll matter. We've just got so much acceleration. <laughs> 914. It has just flowered off the corner there. Now, we've got to get it slowed here, though, because... Well, the thing that I've got to be careful of is what Hordes can do just this. Now, Hordes will then be much quicker through this section than I will be. Oh, there's too much on the grass. I'm hoping if we can keep the back end on the road, which we do, we will fire the car off the corner and then we can get back past again into turn number one. Hordes is going to try and go underneath and Hordes will have a look for the lead of the race here and we'll retake it. Now if we start doing this for too much, Ollie is going to pass, well, Ollie is here now. It is very much a three car battle for the lead. We've got two laps to go. Will we be able to get off this corner well enough? Hordes will move across to defend, which is fine. I'm okay with that because this is now starting to cost Hordes lap time as well and it's costing me less lap time because I can just outrun that GT3 in a straight line. Uh, we had a little bit of a lift there, mid-corner. Uh, Ollie cannot match us for pace down the straights, but we will go soaring past. But it's going to be the same problem again that we had in the braking zone. Hordes is once more going to park it on the apex. And Hordes can't make a mistake here. If Hordes makes one error with that car, it's easy for me. Because, well, and again, we're going to do exactly the same as we did last lap around, although it's going to be more difficult this time, I think, for us. Uh, Hordes is going to have to go really tight on the inside. I mean, there's a little bit across the corner, uh, although I have jumped the final corner a couple of times, so I guess all is fair. Uh, now, what can we do through here? Oh, we got that corner wrong slightly. 
Ah, we've got it. We've got it crossed up a little bit there. We should outrun the Alpine down towards the first corner. This is the final time around here. Hordes will will think about defending. Can't do anything. I, I can't do anything down there. Can't do anything into the first corner. I'm not really trying though. A lot of what I'm doing here is just set it up for later on in the lap. We're not likely to get passed through here, but that's okay. Oh no. Oh, I straightened it up too soon. Ah, I just got a wiggle. I just got a wiggle through there, which is not what we needed in the slightest. On the brakes we go into. Uh, I think this final lap's gone for me. I think we've we've probably not quite got it. Uh, we just got out of shape. We got out of shape in some critical points. Uh, yeah, silly error. Silly errors by me on this final lap of the race. As long as Hordes doesn't make a mistake through here, uh, I don't think we're going to be close enough because we'll charge down towards the uh, corner off the back straight. We'll be close, but I don't think we're going to be far enough alongside to do anything. You never know. Right, be neat and tidy through here. Hope for a mistake. Uh, we're not quite close enough, unfortunately. Hordes is a little bit wide through here. Nothing crazy. Uh, but I'm not going to be enough. Ah, we charged hard. I mean, we really put up a hell of a fight in this one. Good battle. Good battle. Slightly scruffy by me at the end there. Hordes did well to hold on. Put the car absolutely where they needed to do the whole way around. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't have done much more. I could not have done much more. And Hordes found some speed at the end of that as well. Um, but, yeah. Oh, I like that 914. It's good fun. It's not my normal sort of car. It's terrifying to drive. And, uh, you know, it got it got the better of me in a couple of places, that being said. <laughs> oh, I liked it. That was fun. It was an exciting, exciting race. Oh, well, this is a lovely spot on the grid for race number two. It is pouring with rain, which I don't want here. Um... I'm not sure rain is going to help my many problems. Rusky has all-wheel drive, which is helpful, of course. Oh, a lot of understeer. Uh, a lot of understeer from me, even more from Rusky. Now, of course, we are going to be monumentally fast in a straight line. This track in the dry, I think, was going to be pretty good for me. But uh, the wet is a problem because we've got to try and deal with traction issues. I mean, this is traction issues... My car's tough to drive in the dry, but in these conditions, it's going to be really sketchy. Uh, Rusky can try and defend. It won't matter. It's going to have nothing uh, against the 914 down the straight, and we will ease ourselves into the lead. I just don't know where I need to break for the hairpin. About there, not bad, actually. Uh, Rusky is going to try and put the nose on the inside, use the all-wheel drive traction to get the Subaru off the corner, but it will not be able to match the speed oh, of the 914 but then I am Larry so the first half of the lap is going to be quite good for me because it's all about the straight line bits the second half of the lap is going to be very dicey for me the only plus point is we can probably make a very very wide little Porsche we can make ourselves really awkward to try and overtake uh, that is what we are going for here because this part of the track is tough to pass on oh come on Guys, no grip through there. Rusky's going to have a look. Now, Rusky's best bet is if that Subaru has enough grip is to go around the outside of the hairpin because uh, I am going to defend the inside as best as I can. I know I know where we're strong around this lap. Oh, come on. Please front end turn in. Yeah, I know where we're strong around this lap, so I know where we can. Liam is going to have a look because Liam's going to struggle on such a tight line to get a huge amount of speed on the exit. And again... Off we go, into the distance with the 914. The second we can get on the power, oh, a little bit wide at turn one again. Not as wide though, a bit better. Liam is not going to be close enough, I don't think, into turn number two to have a look. So we can, oh, well, maybe if we do that, Liam's gone just as wide as me down there. So we are all about even as we leave turn number two onto the straight we go so i mean so rusky's got rusky's got the really difficult thing of absolutely zero straight line speed loads of traction but surrounded by cars that outrun them in a straight and then we can pull a second on everybody uh, down the main straight oh 
slow, 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 914. Someone's gone straight on, I think. I'm not sure who that is. Uh, might have been Shadow. Got the lighting very weird looking back. Could have been Lim. Don't really know. We've got our own sort of fight going on with this car at the moment. Uh, we will be... Uh, I say nice through there. We're really not. We're really not nice through that section. It's on the absolute edge of grip through most of the lap here. If we somehow manage to get this... Well, wherever we end up getting this to, this will have been worked for in all of this. Rusky's still clinging on to the podium spot. That is another thing that is helping me. If they all fight one another, that also makes my life ten times easier. We're so slow through there. There's no grip in that corner whatsoever. Uh, but we can just make it super difficult. Liam is going to try. That's the line. If you're going to get past me, that is possibly your best spot to do it. Uh, is there and into the final corner. We are just going to defend. Liam can have a look, but there's going to it's going to be it's very very difficult to get past uh, around that final corner if I am aware of the attempt and if I am defending. And then again, we run away down towards turn number one. Uh, we will get ourselves. Thankfully. They have updated the curves a little bit. They're not quite as vicious as they once were. They're still, you know, not very nice. Uh, right, on the brakes into turn number two. Once more, park the 914 in a really awkward spot. They'll get off the corner nicely and then run away from Liam. Liam is closer this time around, which is more scary. I don't think we're going to quite pull the big one second gap that we had last time, you know, down this straight gonna have to start getting I have been playing this a little cautiously oh under brakes oh Liam has gone in way too deep as well uh, well I mean we have got sat up over a curve there we were struggling to get that stopped as well and then Liam has yeah assisted us uh, in running wide I fear we might be in a lot of trouble here though uh, because we haven't got the big so we haven't got the big gap. Liam is going to struggle to make that one turn. Ollie has arrived, which is not what we needed. Uh, we can get our car across in front. I've had to chuck it, though. Take a really bad line through there. I'm hoping, with enough acceleration off the corner, we can get ourselves across again. Not quite to the inside. Liam is going to sort of hang us out to dry there, but we've got acceleration again down towards the hairpin. Ollie has got way more pace than the both of us here. There's a little bit of a lean, a little bit of a lean between us. Liam is going to try and make this one work, and it might work, although it's all crossed up. Oh, Rusky has sent it through the middle of this. Uh, now, my, my hope is if we can just stay close enough, you know, get a good run out of turn two, and all of this is academic. None of this matters anymore if we can get a good run out of turn two. Oh, okay, well, we've all got a bit stacked up through there. Liam was very slow. The fact that I was going quicker than cars down there says everything you need to know, really. Okay, into the second corner we head. We will get ourselves stopped. And we will get ourselves turned. Uh, we will end up annoying Rusky. What we've done really here is give Liam a great chance and Liam's thrown it away. Liam's massive chance here to make a break for it has gone awry. Oh, that was a wonderful opportunity for Liam to get away from all of us, and then Liam went for an adventure. Uh, we are battling side by side with Ollie in that Alpine uh, as we try and get it stopped for the hairpin. We do. There is a whole load of cars. It is about three wide behind me here. It's got very busy. We've come out of it with the lead of the race. Hordes has got so much grip in that Porsche, but no... Um, straight line speed whatsoever uh, we are going to slither our way through there and then be prepared it's now full defense mode we've come out of the section of the track where we're good and it is now onto the i have to defend like my life depends on it mode oh can we get the acceleration across in front of the alpine we can we can just defend down there. I'm taking a bit funky lines in places. We kind of have to. Hordes' car is actually one of the cars that could give us some grief, because Hordes' car could go around the outside of us here. Um, however, it can't because there's so many cars. We have just made the train, never mind the trolley train. This is 
the most ridiculous train you could imagine. It's just no one can get past me. We can slow everything up in the corners, and then we get on the power on the exit, and then we're out of the way. Uh, <laughs> we are making an absolute nuisance of ourselves here, uh, which is quite funny. Uh, no, too wide into turn one. It's not what I want, because it's going to make me slow on the exit. Uh, going that wide. Hordes may have a look up the inside, but honestly, like I'm not all that fussed. If Hordes wants to have a go at the inside, by all means, go for it. That car doesn't have the straight line speed to do much about keeping that place. Like, it'll get past here. We will now absolutely breeze past it down towards the hairpin. We're going to have to... I mean, I am worried about Hordes' car. We know that thing has got some pretty good brakes. Uh, we are going to park it in the middle of the road for us here. Oh, Hortz is going to look underneath that. Uh, that line there's got even less acceleration than me, and we will hold on once again. Uh, <laughs> we are annoying an entire lobby of cars here because our 914 is unbelievably difficult to pass. It is so quick accelerating, and we are just about hanging on for dear life in the corners. Uh, what can we do? We've got one more lap to go. Liam will be kicking themselves, having got to the lead and gone for an adventure. Like, that was the chance to get clear of the 914. That was probably the best chance anyone has had in this race, getting clear of the 914. And Liam went straight on an adventure. Into the hairpin we go. Once again, we keep the car on a super defensive line. I'm surprised Hordes hasn't tried getting it around the outside at some point. I mean, we've got to defend everywhere. Like, there's not really anywhere that I can really say, can't. Hordes is not close enough to do anything into the final corner. And what's, again, what is really helping me here is everybody is so close together. They are all fighting one another. Ollie is now looking for a way past Hordes. Uh, so Hordes is going to have to defend into turn one or turn two. Uh, it's everybody is so stacked together because of my 914. It makes this race really, really hectic. Uh, we are going to, again, take these defensive lines and then utilize our acceleration. Here it goes. It's lit up the rears. Don't quite slide as wide as Liam did. That's fine. We head down the long straight. We will pull a gap to Hordes and to Ollie. Ollie, I'm a little bit worried about, a little bit concerned where the Alpine may go. I'm actually surprised Ollie didn't try a go up the inside. The thing is though, because if you try that move up the inside, what's going to happen is you're going to get undone by a car behind, taking a more normal light, or potentially uh, come undone from a car taking a normal line. Whoa, we are very, very crossed up there. But the Alpine is going to have a look, but where could it go? There's no, there's no space on the inside there. There's no momentum to be found. Uh, we are going to try and keep things together. Rusky is right there having a look with the Subaru. We've got acceleration. This corner here is where we have possibly struggled some of the most throughout this race. It's neat and tidy for the 914. We have just got a couple more corners to go here. Uh, now, keep the Porsche on the inside. Ollie didn't try to go to the outside, but I don't think they can. I think this is the problem they're all finding, is that they just can't go to the outside there, because if they do, they're going to get passed by someone else in the queue. That has been the real difficulty, and we are going to slide our way out of the final corner. We get a little bit stuck on Ollie's car. We are going to claim victory. <laughs> In the, in the most defensive race I have ever done. There is absolutely no way that car is the fastest one there. However, <laughs> just no one could pass it. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Honestly, I have absolutely no idea how fast my car could be because we were driving the weirdest lines, but everything was defensive driving in that race. It's absolutely everything was just full-on defensive driving at that point. Oh, the 914 claims a victory. It is a little rocket ship. It is horribly difficult to drive. Uh, <laughs> in the dry, I think our car could have been genuinely very, very quick there. But in the wet, it was difficult. 
however we were able to utilize its immense acceleration to very good effect. Liam will be kicking themselves. Liam got to the front and then immediately threw it off the track. Um, but uh, yeah, that was absolutely manic. Good God. We have claimed a victory in one of the truly maddest of races. Well, there we go. The the 914 was spectacular in its own in its own way. Uh, I built it with an idea in mind and it worked. It would only work at certain tracks. Um the it's the medium and high speed corners where it loses a huge amount of time. Low speed corners it's fine. Actually mid corner grip's not terrible, but it can't do the higher speed stuff. Um but if it's got if a track's got lots of low speed acceleration zones, it is a monster. And if it gets in front, it is horrible to try and overtake because it's not completely useless in the corners. It's not good, it's scary, it's difficult to drive, uh, but it's not completely terrible in the corners, so it can be an absolute nightmare to overtake, which, uh, yeah, I would say it worked. I would definitely say that worked for what I wanted it for. That, though, is going to be it for... Uh, for this video. If you would like to sign up to take part in the next one of these, you can via our Discord. There'll be a link in the description. Find the Verse of the Community sign-up section and you can register to take part in there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching and until next time, a goodbye.